What's up YouTube? So today we're discussing the subject of which trout should you buy? Now possibly you're in the market for a new trout, maybe your one has worn out, you've popped a rivet or something like that and you're looking to buy your next trout, you're wanting to know what your best option is, or maybe you have just started plastering or you're a DIY, you're about to tackle your first plastering job and you're wondering well which trout should I get? Now in a market where trout sizes range from something like this, which is an 18 inch trout, to something like this, which is an eight inch midget trout. Which one should you get? Well, for a general purpose trout, I would not recommend either of these. But not only that, in the market, we've never been so fortunate, you could also have something like this, which is a plastic trout, or something like this, which is a flexible trout. Is that the sort of trout you should buy? What we can say with absolute certainty is for your first trout or possibly uh, the trout you're looking to do everything with, especially if you're only looking to have one, you wouldn't want to buy one of these trouts. Now, there are some that feel that you can do all the stages of a plastering set with a, a plastic trout or a flexible trout. And although there is an element of accuracy in that, uh, it is possible the reality of it is you could probably get a smooth finish using a banana but that doesn't mean uh, that you should and in the same way with these flexible trousers the danger with them is that they give inconsistent results you run the risk of, of, of getting waves um, I totally understand why a lot of plasterers or DIYs like to use them they're a lot kinder on your wrist and they give the appearance of a nicer finish because it's easier to shine up the wall and it gives a nice uh, uh, consistent color as it were but the reality is it is a lot harder to get the wall flat and uniform as such the sort of trousers that you are looking to, to, to buy is either something like a stainless steel or a carbon steel trowel which one of those you choose to get that is personal preference we have done a video on the difference between carbon steel and stainless steel and what the pros and the cons are um, if you're wondering about that, just, just go and have a look at that video. But with regards to your general purpose trowel, your laying on trowel, the trowel that can do everything, if you were to pose the question on a plasterer's uh, forum, something on, online like Facebook, no doubt the trowel that would come up the most often is this one here. Now this here is a Marshalltown stainless steel 14 inch trowel. This here, this trowel is bulletproof. It's so good that we not only have one, we not only have two, this one is the same trowel, it's just got a different handle on it, and there's a couple more out of shot right now. Um, it was my first trowel, it was Louis's first trowel, um, it was the trowel I bought my dad. These trowels are, if you want a fail safe option, this is the one to go for. But anybody that watches our channel will know that invariably we do not buy or we do not generally use a stainless steel 14 inch Marshall Town trowel. Why? Well, one of the main reasons is we prefer carbon steel trowels. Uh, the, the main reason is that the, the finish they get is, in our opinion, is superior. They are sharper, uh, they break in an awful lot quicker, and the general maintenance you have to do it. Uh, on them is worth it given we plaster every single day but that said there is also something else to take into consideration and that is the size of the trowel now we mentioned that this one is a 14 inch trowel uh, but that said this one over here this is an 18 inch trowel uh, we have an ox trowel over here which is in poor state sorry ox uh, this is an 11 inch trowel and there's another one, uh, this one is a 16 inch trowel. Uh, which one should you go for? Which one is best for you? Well, although the general consensus is 14 is probably the most common size to go for and it's kind of the best of both worlds, it's actually not the one that we prefer. Uh, the one that we prefer is actually the one that we're breaking in currently and I've always had 14 inch trousers, but we decided to go over to a 13 inch trousers just to try it out. Now, uh, if any of you 
uh, follow our Instagram account, you'll know that we bought these trails, we bought two of them back in uh, March, I think it was. Um, and we pretty much skimmed up a new house and then we've just been doing sand and cement. So at the time of this video, that's about three or four months down the line, uh, this trowel's already broken in. In fact, we showed this trowel to another plasterer who'd been plastering for eight years and asked how long, how old he thought the trowel was. Uh, he thought it was about six or seven years old by the condition of how much he'd broken in by. That's the incredible thing about these trowels, they break in so fast. But why 13 inch? Why, certainly for me and, and Louis as well, are we leaning towards a 13 inch? Well, a lot of the old boy plasterers did feel that this was the best size to have. The, the plasterer who taught me how to, um, to, to, to plaster, he, he thought the same. 13 was the best and for a long time I was stubborn and I never went for this trowel. But now having one and now putting it through its paces I can see the benefit. And the main difference is the, uh, the even pressure you get across the entire trowel, but also the lack of strain that you get on your wrist. Now you do see some plasters that they will uh, put on with something like this. This is a 16 inch Nella, or even worse, this is an 18 inch Marshalltown. Uh, this trowel is fully broken in. I bought it second hand like that. There is no way I could break this in myself. And the reason being is the strain that this uh, puts on your body. And that really is where the important thing to take, uh, to take into consideration. The larger the trowel you have, uh, the more strain that it puts on your elbow, on your wrist, and your shoulder. And as such, we thoroughly recommend um, not going over a 14 inch trowel when it comes to your general purpose plastering. When it gets to uh, possibly your fi final trowel uh, or possibly your last wet trowel and you want to use a bigger trowel then, then by all means. But any of the stages where you're having to put a lot of pressure on the trowels, these large trowels, 16, 18 inches and above, they put a massive strain on your body. Although it's very nice to lay down with these trowels, uh, the damage you do to yourself later on in life, it just is not worth it. As the other thing also to, to, to bear in mind, and it's something to consider, that 13 inches, in our opinion, is the best size for getting even pressure all the way across the trowel. So you get even pressure all the way across the trowel, but as soon as you go a size up, so 14 inches, you just start to get a little bit of fade on the two tips of the trowel. You can see as the tips start to lift up. But as soon as you go to 16 inches, that increases massively. There's, there's very little pressure on the end of the trowel when you're plastering. 18 inches, it's almost a good two inches either end where there's very little black pressure on the trowel. And it just adds uh, to getting inconsistent results. So as such, in our opinion and in our experience, having had many 14 inch trowels and then trying out a 13, that we do feel that the 13 inch trowel is probably the one uh, best to go for. Uh, we hope that this gives you something to, to have a think about, uh, gives you some uh, extra information in trying to decide which trowel that you should buy. Uh, and we uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks again.